So that means that I'd like you to have finished up um, exercise three, and then the mini project is just what we've been doing. Nothing new. That's I'm trying to actually design this so you're not stuck on the projects. This is to come up with your own three methods, build a menu so that you can choose the door to go through, and then once you enter it, it calls the appropriate method. Mine is really boring. Uh, it just tells you whether or not you want a, a real goat or a, a robot goat. But yours should be more interesting. <laughs> goats? Robot goats are the future, Elizabeth. Come on. Cloned goats are the future. What goats? Cloned. Oh, yeah. Not cloned. I want a robot goat. I want a mom. Okay, so uh, Lexi's doors are going to contain different varieties of llama. No, probably pandas. Maybe pandas, even cuter. So this is what you're working on. You're submitting it to our normal... I gave you the specification here. Don't get overwhelmed by the specification. Just read it. And then there's your submission steps, just like we did last time. You upload it to your GitHub account, and then you make an entry in this nice spreadsheet. Wow, look. People are already done. Um, some people are done. Who's done? Chris, are you done? Oh, some of these are fours. So who, how are we doing here? We got Hamza, nice work. You got four in. Brody got five in. Lexi got four in. This is all back in chunk one. So no one, no people are done with chunk two. I hope that was, did that feel congratulatory, Brody? Yeah. Did you feel good? Good, okay, I didn't. Because if he's, if he's bothering you, I don't want him bothering. He didn't say his name, so. I see. Wait. Yeah, Nick. Oh no, I didn't say. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were clapping for yourself. No, no, he said good job, so I started clapping. Oh, good. I'm. And then uh, this is you, right? Five math quiz. Yeah. So we're good. So when you're done by Monday, I want you to have. This is going to say chunk two, module one. That means you have four days, five days to synthesize and internalize what we've done today. Yeah. To like add pictures, basically, like you open up our program and then it actually do more. Uh, yes. So you're talking about the category of programming that involves a GUI, graphic user interface. Yeah. There are two big camps of programming out there. Those that say give students the GUIs fast because it's the modern day and everyone likes to see things move and they like to click. That's great. And now, um, in your book, you have a whole chapter on Swing and Java. Uh, this is called Java Swing, so you can do it. But my camp, see, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fundamentalist. So you just wanted to know how to code them. I want, the problem is giving you the chance to make GUIs involves asking you to use a whole bunch of code that you don't understand. Okay. And I think I have found it more overwhelming for students because they get into bugs that they can't fix because they're using code that they don't understand. So I'm going to wait till the very end to introduce GUIs. Oh, okay. So we're still going to learn them. Absolutely. But it's okay if you do like our own like... If you, wanted, if you want to do your study on Swing, do it. It'll only help you. I just don't want people people to feel like they're stuck for in-person work because they're trying to use code that I've given them that they don't understand. Right, right. The best we're going to, I mean, the most we're doing is like a scanner, which you don't fully understand, but you can debug that easily enough. Yeah. The, when you're doing swing, you're dealing with all sorts of stuff. You're extending classes and you have method calls and you have action listeners and it's a big mess. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, have fun. I'll be around to help. Yeah. It's a long excuse ever, like, was the word debugging, and then you found out it was something stupid like a bracket. How many times has that happened? No, how, what was your longest? Oh, I've done a good eight hours before. <laughs> One bug. One bug. I was programming tree algorithms, and I couldn't. I couldn't find this bug. I, I spent four hours on looking, like reading the code, rewriting a bunch, and I found out it was just a bracket. A bracket. One bracket. Uh, an algorithm is simply a set of steps to accomplish something. A program, we would say, would implement an algorithm. So the algorithm to get out of this room for me would be go straight, move forward three feet, turn right, 
go back 20 feet, turn left. That's the algorithm. I could implement it in Java if I had a little robot and I could write code to the robot and say go forward. So that would be a program that implements the algorithm to get out of the room. Yeah. Good luck.